All right, so I'm a little overexcited right now because I just went and bought the Canon uh, EOS R, and some of y'all don't under, don't know where this camera came out. I don't know. It's been out for a while, but I never had it. And uh, there's you got quite a few Canon uh, R line cameras that are out. And Canon has been coming out with better ones and better ones. And so, but the R was like one of the ones that I was hearing about that was actually a good one before the R6 and the R5 and the R5C and all these other ones came out. So, um, I know that I have uh, a good camera. Um... But I just wanted to share it with y'all. Like, I'm all about, you know, the things that I learned. I'm in school for filming. And I'm in school for music. And the things that I learned, you know, along the way, I want to help y'all. Because there's so many different cameras out there. There's so many different lenses out there. A lot of people don't understand. And it's very hard. It's very difficult to understand what all these different things mean. So there's a lot of stuff that I wouldn't have known Uh if I hadn't taken these courses. So, uh, but this is my first time. And the crazy thing is I, um, I got this camera from Best Buy and I didn't pay any money for it. So, um, that's one of the reasons why I'm so excited. So this is the, the EOS R. You, you also have the EOS RP, which is a step below this one. Um, I was very confused about the different R, RP, R5. I was, I was confused because they, they don't go in any kind of like order that you would just off the back understand. But this set comes with a lens. All right. Um, now you have these lens kits. But in, in these lenses that the lens the lens that is in here, I'm assuming it's like it's a couple hundred dollars for this lens. Um these are I would say basic um lenses or semi pro. I don't know if that's the term the term you want to use, but you have the the more premium lenses that are gonna cost you about a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars. Um for those lenses and I will be getting those um but for the time being for something to just use for now and something for somebody who doesn't want to break the bank you have something like this and I also picked up because a lot of people don't know but if you look at uh this is explaining to you about the about the lens type on here and it says that it is a RF, which I, that just talking about the type of mount that it is. But it's a RF, but it's a 24 through 105. That's the millimeter, and it's then it tells you the uh, the f stop 4 through 7.1, and then you got the IS, which is image stabilization. Then you got the STM. Uh, I can't remember what STM, but you have STM and like U something. Um, but the 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 f stop. Anytime you have the f-stop that is, you know, it's not a set number, those are really, I, I wouldn't say that they're as good of lenses. Now, you do have some of the premium lenses that cost like um, 1000 or 1500 that still, that have the, um, the, the, well, you have a millimeter that uh, changes, but anytime you have the f-stop, that changes that is not really good um and I, I won't say that it's I, I shouldn't say that it's not good because you only notice a difference if you're moving the uh f-stop uh in, in during shooting like if you keep the f-stop at the same during the entire uh uh shooting session then it's it's probably not really that big of a deal uh 
but I also purchased another this lens was a couple of hundred dollars but this one has a uh, a fixed f-stop on it now a lot of y'all probably don't know what that is that's for a whole nother video but um, even though this is still a basic lens your your set f-stops are gonna give a little bit better um, a little bit sharper image I should say um, and a lot of people don't understand about millimeter there's a particular reason I got a 50 millimeter right and the crazy thing is a full frame versus a a, 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 a crop frame like an APS-C which is what I'm on right now the, the, the camera I'm on right now is a um, a Canon uh, a M200 which is similar to the M50 they're pretty much the same camera just slight differences and I was gonna keep that camera but I forgot that when it comes to lens choices they kind of you're not able to buy like the premium premium lenses for these type of uh, um, cameras for the uh, crop crop uh, frame so I'm going from a crop frame to uh, I believe it's full frame I'm pretty sure it is RF is a uh, I'm pretty sure RF is full frame uh, but I'm excited about that and I'm gonna say this is my first time opening this I just picked this up like just a while ago um, it doesn't really make sense for me to show you everything that is in here because this camera came out a while back but um, this looks like a USB-C that comes with it with some type of a look like a, a mount is that a VGA? no not a VGA is that a some type of a mount uh, you got your battery pack or uh, charger I mean you got it looks like the battery pack itself um, of course you got your strap which is I feel like this is important I saw a professional use this and I was like I did not know that's how you're supposed to use it most most of us just hang it around our neck which is one way to use it yeah but there's another way when you're filming uh, to use it that gives which gives you more stable shots um, I, like I say, I would have never known that technique if I hadn't watched. Um, and I was going to take this camera back because this is not the one that I actually um, want. But I actually think I might keep it. So, I, but, I'll, but that means I'm going to have to end up buying another one because... Uh, I'll just use this one for like uh, YouTubing because the one that I want is like the R5, the R6, R5, and then so I'm gonna have to open this. It's the camera itself. I don't wanna. I forgot this one does look different than the it does look different than the R6 the body is, is kind of different on these but the on, on this camera that I have right here the the M200 the only thing that I didn't like about it as far as um is, is the um is the you couldn't you couldn't go to the upscale lenses but then also the um the screen the screen flips up so i can see myself but when you close the screen it's the screen is like exposed so like if you were to put that camera in a bag or something it's easy for that screen i'm not gonna say it's easy for it to get broke but the screen is on the outside with the m50 pretty much the same exact camera uh, I believe the screen flips around so that when you when you're done with it yeah when you're done with it you can turn it around and close it 
so that the the outside of the screen is is so that the outside of the screen is not like exposed or able to get broken just like this one how this one you see how when it's closed when you're not using it it protect it, it closes in like this to protect itself and then when you or well, actually yeah and then when you um want to use it you know you can flip it out like this and if you're facing this way if you're recording yourself it has it where you're able to flip around like that now excuse me there's pros and cons to almost every camera like you see that this flips out and you're kind of you're not looking directly at you're not looking straight you're kind of looking off to the side to look at yourself so it's kind of noticeable that people are really looking um i like this screen because it flips directly up on top of the um on top of the lens so you're looking more straight instead of looking off to the side um still kind of looking off to still kind of looking the same distance but anyways and then also you can flip it around like this when you're using it so i don't know if this battery is charged and stuff i'm not gonna power this up and do all that but the next uh the 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 footage the the videos from here on out will be recorded with this i believe this is very good for youtube um i believe this is this is very good for for um i mean you can also use this for like recording videos and other things but what i'm gonna use it for is youtube and yeah i i, I will shoot some videos with it but this doesn't have the uh the the built-in um uh image body stabilization if i'm saying that right um it does have you got like three different stabilizations you got uh stabilization on the lens itself you have stabilization in the body of the camera and then there's another stabilization i think that's uh the digital is that well i know there's like three different ones and this one only has two which is fine most cameras only have two um for the price you pay for it that's that's fine there's nothing wrong with it but for what i'm trying to do uh filming videos and with me being uh it, it's like the r6 and the r5 kind of like take you have to work less you, you work less harder it's less editing i would say um with it now nobody a lot of people don't understand millimeter um and your millimeter changes also if you're on the crop frame so i i can't remember exactly how to how the measurements go i think it's times 0.16 uh, I don't want to break this. I'm trying to open this box. But, alright, there it goes. So, this lens that came with my kit, the one that is, uh, and see, that's why I say the, the camera, it doesn't come with a lens. These type of cameras, they don't come with lenses. So, but they will sell you a lens, uh, like one with the kit. So this is the one that came with the lens kit. So this is the one that came with the camera. But typically you just get these cameras without a lens. So you, you always have to buy a lens. Um, this has, see this one has, well, it has built-in focus. And then it has stabilizer on it. Um, and this is, like I say, it's a... 24 millimeter to 105 millimeter um i am not oh there it goes oh it's, it's trying to focus on my face i apologize but i'm not i'm not very used to this camera it's like only my first time using it but uh so let me it uh, i mean me putting this on here really doesn't 
Oh, it even, it even has something to cover up the, to cover up the, um, the center. That's a good thing. Or is that, I know, I know some of the cameras have, um, what do they call it? Like the filters over the lenses. I don't think this one has that. No, I don't think this one has that. Those are like the more expensive. You do have HDMI, USB, um, what is this? You got a headphone mic. Um, and what is this, remote? Is that what that is? But, what did I do with the battery? So like from here on out, my uh, videos will no longer be recorded with my phone. And this is that's why I bought this camera, uh, the M, the M um, 200, because I just got tired of um, using my phone. Because the the phone that I have, I got it for free and it doesn't have a lot of storage and even if it did have a lot of storage i would still fill it up like really fast so it doesn't have a lot of storage so i gotta take this off that on here but that looks pretty darn that looks pretty cool pretty premium looking but oops alright now let me I mean for for a basic lens I'm just looking at the glass of the lens that's that's actually even with the basic lenses, you still get, yeah, the battery must be dead because it's not saying nothing. Um, unless I just don't know how to cut it on. It says off and on. Yeah, I think the battery is dead. 